say all clear. Is anybody touching the bed? Okay. Well, the WVU third year students here in Charleston have the chance once every block, which is every eight weeks, to be pulled away from their clinical rotations and come together to learn and practice some skill sessions as a group of about 30 or 35 here in the simulation center. But as far as learning the clinical skills, this is an opportunity for them to practice um, doing uh, pelvic exams or prostate exams, practicing doing emergency resuscitation, practice delivering babies on mannequins. So in a safe environment, safe both for themselves as learners and then obviously for patients as well. Sitting in a classroom and learning anything, that's never really been how I learn best. And I find that for a lot of medical students, you know, obviously they excel in the classroom, but everyone has different learning styles and I couldn't imagine doing any of this stuff on a real person whose life is really in your hands. I can do things here that I won't get the opportunity to do as a student and by the time that I will eventually have to defibrillate a person or you know find someone who doesn't have a pulse, it'll be awesome to already have the muscle memory, to have already gone through the motions. Clear! Both done. Both. The instructors are also able to demonstrate and then allow practice. They can um, speed up or slow down that practice. They can stop a, pay, a student kind of mid-skill if they're doing something wrong. And it allows the student to practice until they have a little bit of comfortable mastery. So.